So one of the coolest things about having a YouTube channel where I talk about watches is engaging with you guys in the comments about all of the latest releases. It can be hard to keep up. However, I just realized, I don't know why I have never done a video about recently released watches. What's going on everybody? Teddy Baldessar here. And in this video, we're gonna be looking at recently released watches in the last couple months or so. So going into fall 2018. So I've never done this before, but I think it's a thing that I wanna do more frequently. So I'm not gonna be able to name all of the watches. So please leave comments down below. And as you guys could probably see, we have a new set behind me. So uh, let me know what you guys think in the comments as well. All right guys, let's jump into it. So first we have a couple affordable watches, starting off with Timex. And this is the Timex Todd Snyder Beekman watch. So I have been loving the collabs between Todd Snyder and Timex as of late. I recently did a review of one of their collaborations on my channel, the Timex Marlin Blackout Edition, and I will definitely link to that down in the description below if you do wanna check it out. But with this watch, you're getting a tool-like vintage look without really the function, but come on, it, it looks crazy cool and fun. So the watch comes in with a price point of $158, case size of 40 millimeters, powered by a quartz movement and is water resistant up to 30 meters. It's another really cool collab between Todd and Timex and I really hope they continue to do these and there's plenty more to come. Next up we have a watch from one of my favorite micro brands, Dan Henry. The watch is the Dan Henry 1964 Gran Turismo. TGV recently unveiled these watches on his channel and I was immediately enamored with the look of these pieces. From the blue seconds hand to the nice concave sub dials, really did love the look of these watches and the price point. The watches come with four different dial options and the option with and without a date. The watches come in with a $250 price point, case size of 38 millimeters, are powered by a Seiko Caliber VK63 Mecha Quartz movement and are water resistant up to 50 meters. So as some of you may know, I own a Young Hands Maxville Chronoscope. It's, I think one of the best looking watches that I own and I think many of you would agree with that. And then on top of that, it gets by far the most compliments out of any watch that I have in my collection. And we're gonna be looking at a Young Hands watch that definitely is a different approach for the brand. So I wanted to give it a mention here today. The watch, the Young Hands Max Bill Mega. So the Young Hands watch retails for $990 with the standard leather bracelet. If you wanna go for the metal bracelet version, it's $1,090. The watch comes in with a 38 millimeter case, water resistant up to 30 meters and is powered by an in-house caliber J10165 quartz radio controlled movement. For our next watch, we have a watch that is a bigger tease than half of the girls on Tinder since it went live with pre-orders a few weeks back and is currently out of stock. However, I just love the look of these things and I think for the price, you're getting a very interesting watch. The watch, the Helios Seaforth GMT. Helios is a watch brand that has gotten an incredible amount of love with the release of their beloved Seaforth model with various dial and bezel options and has recently released a GMT version of one of their best sellers. The watch comes with two different dial options, gray and blue, and bezel options, four of them. The watch comes in with a $900 price point and then also with a case size of 40 millimeters or 41 millimeters depending on the bezel option that you choose and is powered by an ETA 28932 movement. As I stated, I love the look of these watches with their playful dial and and bezel options and it's short GMT hand. I'm just begging, Helios, please just make more watches. I'm really tired of having to go to your website periodically and always see that the pre-orders are done and I can't get buy one of your watches. It's really frustrating and I think a lot of other people would be in agreement with me there. Next, we have a watch from a brand that has designs that typically don't really speak to me. However, I find this one rather enjoyable. The watch is a Panerai Radio Mirror 1940 with an Arc Deco dial. The watch features a similar case design that we've come to expect with Panerai. However, this dial layout that emulates kind of the style that you would see with an elegant clock tower. Overall, I love it and would love to see Panerai go in this direction more with their designs to really switch it up a bit. The watch is a limited edition, so it is obviously a test for the brand. I'm not expecting them to probably do this again anytime soon, but it does come with two different dial options, a black or an ivory cream-like dial version, and are limited to just 300 pieces each. This 
one just caught my eye. I thought I wanted to, you know, put some spotlight on it here today. The watch though, unfortunately, retails for a price point that I don't think is justified for $9,200. Case size of 47 millimeters. It comes with a hand-wound P3000 movement, in-house movement, and is water resistant up to 100 meters. So there's a lot of things I like about this watch, but unfortunately, the two biggest issues I have with this are kind of deal breakers. One being the price point, and then on top of that, the case sizing, 47 millimeters. And I, I'm definitely somebody who likes smaller watches, but I think that's really taking out a vast majority of the market with you know the, these watches here. But that's Panerai, that's what they've been doing. And you know, it's kind of what we've come to expect with them, but I would urge them to maybe consider making the watches a little bit smaller, but hey, it is what it is. Now a watch from one of my favorite brands, Nomos. The watches were made to celebrate the 100 year anniversary of the Bauhaus School of Design that was founded back in 1919. And despite its closing in 1933, its influence has stemmed to design foundations of the modern day. The watch is a Nomos Glassuta Tangente, a century of Bauhaus. The watches are essentially a vintage inspired rendition of the Tangente and comes with three different dial options at three different case sizes, 33 millimeters, 35 millimeters, and 38 millimeters. The dial colors are essentially all the same with this paper-like type of look and color. And then apart from the one small differentiator, which is a small colorful ring around the outermost part of the dial, coming in three colors, red, blue, and yellow. The price point for these watches is going to fluctuate depending on which one you go for, between $1,600 and $2,000. Case sizes again, 33 millimeters, 35 millimeters, 38 millimeters, powered by the alpha manual in-house movement from Nomos and are water resistant up to 30 meters. So you're looking at 900 total pieces for these. So get them while you can. It looks like they're all sold out on their website. So you're gonna have to find them if you have access to one of their boutiques, which I'm guessing most people watching this video do not, but I think they're really cool watches and I wanted to give them a mention here today. Now, finally, we have the Grand Seiko Sports 9F86 GMT. The watches are a thinner answer to Grand Seiko's Sports standard high beat models and was launched with three different versions. One being a limited edition SBG N001. It has a charcoal and yellow type color variation. That one's limited to 800 pieces. Then we have two other productions that are gonna go live in January. Those are the SBG N003 with red and black colors and then we have the SBGN005 with red and blue. The watch release was made to celebrate the 25 year existence of the caliber 9F. The watches, despite being quartz powered, are incredible. The accuracy on these things are seriously insane. With the SBG N003 and SBG N005 being accurate to plus or minus 10 seconds a year, and the SBG N001 being accurate to plus or minus five seconds a year, giving your phone a run for its money. The limited edition SBG N001 is set to be available in October, and the higher production volume version versions, the SBG N003 and the N005 should be available in January 2019. These watches are going to retail for $3,200 to $3,500, case size of 39 millimeters, powered by the 9F86 quartz movement and are water resistant up to 100 meters. So guys, what do you think of my choices? These were just some of the watches that caught my eyes over the last couple months, but I'd love to see comments down below. It's always great to see what have really caught your guys' eye because it allows me to learn about some great watches out there. So guys, what do you think of the background as well? Well, um, I want to add more things to it. So if you want to send me anything that to you know, see if it would potentially be a good fit for the background, that'd be kind of cool because then I could maybe throw it in the background. It could kind of be a piece of how you guys can kind of interject with uh, the videos that you know we're creating here. So just an idea. I can link to a potential address that you guys can send to um, if that would be something of interest, but just throwing that out there. Also, if you like this video, guys, be sure to give it a thumbs up, subscribe, hit the bell icon. Definitely do that because that really helps us within YouTube's algorithm and allowing us to grow. And then finally, if you want to support support this new generation of watch lovers, check out our Patreon, follow me on Instagram, uh, and then you can also fill out the form down below uh, to stay up to date with the watch giveaways and be following me on Instagram as well. I just announced the last winners of our watch giveaway over the weekend. So definitely want to be following me there to stay up to date and see the announcements. All right, guys, thanks so much for watching. Be well, and I will see you all very soon.